I can't believe it. All this time I've been doing nothing but sit around and miss that guy. And you know what the worst part is? That you're having to process your emotional pain without vodka? <laughs> No. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what the second worst part is? He does not miss me at all. Yeah, allow me to comfort you. <clears throat> at least you've got your health. <laughs> really? That, that's it? That's comforting? Um, uh, in a hundred years, you'll both be dead and it won't matter? <laughs> You. The only reason he's partying is to cover up his pain. Oh, no, I don't think that's true at all. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I mean, why am I upset just because he's off having a good time? Well, perhaps you're obsessively picturing him engaged in drunken coitus with another woman. <laughs> is that it? Did I get it right? <laughs> That's great. You can stop trying to make me feel better now. Actually, I can't. Before Leonard left, he made me promise that I'd take care of you. He did? Yes. Oh, that's really sweet. Plus, if I do a good job, he said he'd bring me back a sailor's cap. <laughs> well, now I miss him even more. Well, if it's any consolation, I'm sure Leonard's tormented every moment he's away from your warm embrace and cherry lips. Thanks. Oh, seriously? <laughs> Here is a hot beverage to comfort you. It's in a to-go cup. Make of that what you will. Come on, it's still early. Let's do something. Well, I have been toying around with an idea for 4D chess. How about we just talk? All right. In 4D chess... No. Come on, let's talk about our lives. Tell me something about you I don't know. I own nine pairs of pants. <laughs> okay, that, that's a good start, but I was thinking maybe something a little more personal. I see. Hmm. I own nine pairs of underpants. How about I go first? But I don't want to know how many underpants you own. <laughs> Although based on the floor of your bedroom, I'd say it's a thousand. Okay, look, here's something people do not know about me. When I first moved out to LA, I did a topless scene in a low-budget horror movie about a killer gorilla. Oh, after I did it, I felt so ashamed. Thankfully, that thing never came out. I've seen that. <laughs> yeah. But serial apist. <laughs> Howard found it online the day we met oh, you. Oh, God. Maybe it was literally the moment you walked out the door. <sighs> but I see the type of personal revelations you're going for. Okay. Here's one I thought I'd take to the grave. Okay. Hmm. A while back, YouTube changed its user interface from a star-based rating system to a thumbs-up rating system. I tell people I'm okay with it, but I'm really not. <laughs> That's your big revelation? Yes. Whew, I feel 10 pounds lighter. <laughs> okay, you know what? I give up. I'm going to bed. Hey, here's something else you don't know about me. You just hurt my feelings. What did I do? I opened up and shared something deeply upsetting to me, and you treated it as if it were nothing. I, I didn't think it was a big deal. It is to me. That's the point. Sheldon, you are right. I'm really sorry. I should have known better. Your apology is accepted. Thank you. How about a hug? How about a hearty handshake? Come on. Now I know how you felt getting mauled by that sex-crazed gorilla. 